Hey everybody, April here. Welcome back for another video. So as many of you may know, my uncle and I renovated my very first house a few years ago. And now, it's time to decorate. But first, let's take it back. So I'm in the guest bathroom and I just finished taking down the wallpaper. It was a border of wallpaper all around the perimeter of the bathroom and i got that all down took a little while um but we got it done well i got it done well my uncle did some of it earlier too but i pretty much did the majority of it right now he's working on cutting down um that half wall he's making it lower so i can have counter height countertops um the guy that's painting my ceilings and this hallway over he actually just left um he's prepped uh this ceiling and the ceiling in there he also took down the wallpaper in this foyer for me and we took down the trim also so that is what that looks like Everything just needs to be painted now. Well, he has to prep this and all that stuff, but you know, this room still looks the same. Here's the walls getting cut down some more so I can have um, counter height um, bar stools. So we can sit here and eat comfortably and the stove the stove that i'm going to get is going to be the stove with just like the very the flat top so that's going to go there and right now i'm going to start trying to take down that wallpaper and that's pretty much it slight update slight update tomorrow we're going to um home depot to um get prices on the granite countertop for the kitchen i picked out the am i blurry i think i am that's crazy that sometimes i can't tell my eyes oh i got it on manual focus my bad there we go um yeah, so we're going to Home Depot tomorrow to get pricing on the countertops. Um, I've chosen my top three, so tomorrow I'll just choose one and order that. And then hopefully they'll come out and take measurements and I'll have countertops and new um, cabinets. So yeah, let me try to get him in action. So I'm back at Home Depot for quite a few things. <sighs> um, it's the next day actually and I need to give you guys a, a little look around around the house. Um, but I'm here to get some paint matched because I'm switching from Sher excuse me. I'm switching from Sherwin Williams paint to bear paint. Only because um, Sherwin-Williams paint is extremely expensive. Granted, they have great quality paint, but it's really expensive, expensive and it adds up quickly. Like you can easily spend $500 on paint. <laughs> um, and the only reason why I was going with Sherwin-Williams was because Ken, um, he's a professional painter, like I told y'all, and he prefers Sherwin Williams he prefers to paint with Sherwin Williams so and he just swears by it and all that stuff so that's why I was getting Sherwin Williams paint to begin with um but now girl <laughs> he's not am I blurry I still can't even I, 
Okay. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah, so he's not painting um, the rest of the house for me. It's going to be um, Ben. He's painting the ceilings. And then, am I going in and out of focus? <laughs> All right, this camera is pissing me off today. But anyway, um, like I was saying, Ben is painting the ceilings and then me and my uncle are going to paint the rest of the house. And I personally like bare paint. Um, that's the paint that I use when I'm painting my furniture and stuff like that. And it's just, I will just save a whole lot of money. So I'm just gonna go um, with bare and I'm color matching the white color that I use for my doors and my trim because I need another gallon. So I'm gonna have them here at Home Depot. So I'm gonna have them here at Home Depot color match and give me a gallon of this color Sherwin Williams paint, but in bare. Really? So yeah. Um, and then I also need to get some light fixtures now since um, the ceilings are gonna be done soon. I could start hanging up the actual lights that I want in the house as far as like um, the ceiling fan that I want in the living room. I need a foyer light. I need a kitchen light um, that goes by the sink or above the sink. Um, I actually made a list, but I can't, I can't remember everything that I need, but I need quite a few stuff. So that's what I'm here for. Oh, and then my uncle's gonna meet me here later. He's actually at the house um, doing some prep work for the walls right now, but he's gonna meet me here to look at the, um, are you serious? So my uncle's gonna meet me here um, because we wanna start looking at, well, we want to look at the um, the granite countertops that they have here. Um, yeah, we wanna see like when they can come out and do the measurements and stuff like that, so. That's what I'm doing here today. So I'm a sh <laughs> Piss me off, man. Alright, so I'm gonna show y'all the um, cabinets that I'm considering. Um, I was considering oh i told y'all i'm gonna get like unfinished cabinets um or these white cabinets and um refinish them and paint them myself so i can get the custom color that i want i'm sorry this camera's going in and out of blurriness and i can't do nothing about it so there we go okay so i was considering um this white cabinet or these white cabinets and as you can see it has the raised panel here i really like that but i'm also considering these and these just have the flat panel so there's these and then there's these these are more like traditional i guess um but you can get somewhat of a modern look these are traditional too though in a way um but i'm a little nervous about these because if i don't do it right it could look so bootleg and so outdated so um i'm really gonna have to jazz up these um these cabinets but i, I think i'm definitely gonna go with these ones because one is it's much more uh cheaper it's a lot uh, more inexpensive more inexpensive is that an oxymoron <laughs> it's uh less and <laughs> oh my battery's about to die it's less inexpensive than um the white ones um but i think i can get the look that i really want with these cabinets so these here are going to save me a ton a ton of money so i'm excited to um work on these and see what I can come up with. These though are still a great option. Even if you don't want to refinish, like they're great high quality or good quality um, white cabinets. So if you're looking for um, 
New cabinets. Come to Home Depot. Not sponsored either. Home Depot, what you doing, girl? Go ahead and sponsor. Yeah, girl. Yeah, and they're, they're pretty decent on the inside, too. I'm just going to have to get some um, slow closing hinges so they don't slam like that. Yeah, nah, that's not cool. I'm also considering getting um, the tall pantry. I think I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go with that one because I really want um, a pantry cabinet in the kitchen. And then these are all laminate countertops, but I'm gonna go with granite. Here are all the lights that I'm getting. Um, lights for my bathroom, the kitchen, um, foyer, living room, dining room, all that good stuff. Oh, and my gallon of paint. So these are my purchases for today. <laughs> I got this side shit. He ain't gonna be on this side. I got this side. Alright. On the lean to me. Come up to me. take down that top cabinet. So what I'm gonna start working on now is removing um, the rest of the wallpaper. It's a lot of wallpaper um, in the back of the refrigerator. Um, so I'm gonna do that so my uncle can prep the walls. He's about to prep um, this wall here. Sorry for the blurriness. And now he's about to repair the ceiling. Sorry. Um, the ceiling here, um, it used to be, it used to have a leak. So it caused the ceiling to like, what do you call it, uncle? Yeah, cause the ceiling to drop. So that has to be repaired. You guys really can't see, but I can see in person like where the ceiling hangs low. So that has to be repaired before um, Ben comes back and uh, preps and paints this ceiling. And then what else are we doing? Oh, we're getting my cabinets today. So I have a design for the kitchen. So, oh wait, can we focus? Okay. So, for this side of the kitchen, obviously, it's gonna look like this. And then for this side, we're gonna add some cabinetry to the top and the bottom. And it's gonna look like that. I do have another option to do, um, the long pantry cabinet, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna stick with this one because with the long pantry cabinet, I think it'll really look like an actual nook, you know, and I really don't want that look. It'll, I think that'll make the kitchen look extra, extra small. My kitchen is already small, so I'm gonna need as much space as possible. So I decided not to do the pantry and just, with this design 
So we're gonna get the cabinets today and we're also going to um, take measurements for the countertops so we can give the measurements to Home Depot and um, they can give us an estimate on the price. So yeah, um, and then once I have my cabinets here, I can start refinishing them. So I'm super, super excited about that. Here are, or here's a sample of the black, black splash. <laughs> here's a sample of the back splash that I want. It has some, it has a neutral color um, palette, some browns, some tans, creams. I really love this. And here is a, a small sample of the countertop that I'm considering these two. And actually, when I went to Home Depot yesterday, when I looked at um, the samples on the wall, I assumed that they were granite countertops, but they're actually quartz. And quartz is more expensive, but it's a better quality um, countertop. But hopefully the price isn't too bad because I love the style of these and the style of countertops that I want. They don't have it in granite. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll check Lowe's too um, to see if they have the look that I want. But as far as now, I might have to go with a quartz countertop. So for my kitchen cabinets, I want a tan taupe color. So I'm trying to decide between that. I'm going definitely, definitely going to go lighter. I'm not going to go too dark. So... Yep, gotta decide that. What else have we done? We've prepped this, or not prepped, but mudded this wall. We added some trim to, let me brighten it up for y'all. Added some trim to the sliding, uh, sliding glass door. And I got all of my lights. I got um, my foyer light here. Oh, this is what it looks like. Why does this thing keep going to manual focus? Yeah, I got my foyer light here. So that's gonna go there. Hopefully it's not too big. And what else I get? I got my fan for this room. This is the same fan that's in my bedroom. And I got the same fan for this room and the um dining room light where did i put that i don't know where i put that but i'll show y'all that later when um tony puts it up and for the kitchen we're doing recessed lighting and tony will start on that once the um top cabinets are up so he can get like the proper measurements and stuff so yeah, um, as far as the kitchen, as far as the kitchen goes, um, we have to stop the cabinets here. We can't go too far out. Let me see. Let me put it down. Maybe y'all can get a better understanding if I put y'all down. Okay. So with the bottom and top cabinets on this side, we can't go too far out because. We need to make sure that there's enough walkway space to get into the kitchen. Um, so we can't go all the way out with the cabinets. So, I don't know, we'll see. I just hope that it doesn't, my kitchen doesn't look extra tight and extra small. But I definitely definitely need the, the counter space and the cabinet space since I took the cabinets down that were on top of the stove here so we definitely need, definitely need more storage so we'll see how it goes i'm excited i know it'll, it'll look good i know need a trash bag gloves
<laughs> yes, girl, still. No, in the kitchen. Let me show you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I only got a little bit. Just a little bit to go. Say, say hey to the vlog. Y'all. Hey! Oh, can they see me? Yeah. It's Valerie. I told y'all earlier, subscribe to the Crab Crew. Thank you. I'll put their link <laughs> in the description box. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, just trying to talk with them. Um, yeah, yeah. I told you they call you Uncle Chocolate, right? Hmm? I said I told you they call you Uncle Chocolate. No. I tell you that. Oh, I, yeah. I must have told Daisy that. Yeah, but he called me Uncle Chocolate. Anyway, um, he um taken down. So the the ceiling. <laughs> you said that's okay. <laughs> the ceiling. Okay, so I finished, whoa, really greasy. Um, I finished taking all of the wallpaper down. So all of the wallpaper is gone. No more wallpaper. The only wallpaper that's left in the house is the wallpaper here in the laundry room. And um, I don't know when I'm gonna tackle the laundry room so that's gonna stay there for now but all of the important stuff the important rooms for now all of the wallpaper is gone from there so here's all the mess there that I have to clean up let's see right now my uncle is about to put up new drywall on the ceiling he's about to install the new insulation that's what that's looking like. Yep, so we're gonna close that up and then Ben is gonna come later and finish prepping the ceilings. Hopefully he finished prepping the ceilings today so he can start painting tomorrow. Um, what else is happening? That's it for now. It took me all morning to take down the wallpaper um, but that's done. Now I'm just gonna try to tidy up a little bit, I guess. And um, I don't know, I'll find something else to get into. I'll probably start, yeah, I don't wanna start painting the fireplace just yet, but I'm gonna find something and be productive for the rest of the afternoon. 